One of the things I really like about bonsai is that it can be accessible for anybody. Bonsai doesn't have to cost all that much. Now look at these little pines. Um, I bought these pines as a two-year-old seedling at a nursery for maybe 150, one and a half euros. That's not a lot of money. And last year I just took a bit of wire and I wired the main trunk out. As you can see, the main trunk has now grown that much that the wire is biting in. Or, in fact, the trunk has grown around the wire. You can see that the wire doesn't look round anymore, but is flat and level with the outer bark. So it is really time to get this wire out. Because these are still young trees, it is not that bad. I can pull these out and in a year time the scars will have disappeared. It is growing well, it has lots of big new candles and they will need to be shortened, but not yet. I'm going to wait with shortening the candles until the candles have grown their first needles and then I'm going to clip them back to the first 10 or so needles. However, there's a few buds that have appeared on top of this trunk and these I'm going to let grow out, which will over time thicken the lower trunk considerably. So you can see that I have created one tree with the trunk going down, which will of course be a cascade, and another one with the trunk going up in a nice curvy wave. I think I will continue with this as the new leader, which will create a very interesting curvy shape to it. And I have here a side branch and a side branch here, and a new side branch is coming there. But that is later development. Now first let's get the wire off. Removing the wire normally is done with clippers, and you'd clip the main wire in pieces and then you pull it off. However, as the wire has been on quite long, I will try to unwind it. Um, in this case I'm lucky, because I used aluminium wire instead of copper wire. This allows for manual removal without too much effort. I say not too much, but it's still effort, of course. Clipping the wire in segments will allow easier unwiring further down, so you don't have a long end that you need to curve around the trunk. So even though I say I am not clipping it out, I am shortening the wire as I go along. As said, these were wired late last year, so the wire has been on for less than a year now, yet these trunks have grown so much that now already they hold the shape. These pines are extremely healthy at this moment. Now when it comes to the final bit, it's important to get a hold of the end. Otherwise the wire will start spinning and you might twist off the bark of this young plant. Always inspect your tree carefully that you don't leave any bits and pieces of wire in there. And believe me, it does happen a lot that a piece of wire stays in there. And then next time when you're pruning your tree with your good scissors, your scissor hits a wire and you have a little dent in the scissor blade. So I'm not worried about the wire growing in and staying in the branch, I am worried about my tools. See, that's all there is to it. Now we have a nice little pine bonsai, which we can develop further. So I said I wasn't going to use the top, so the top can go from this one straight away, and that saved me a little bit unwiring. Yes, I did tell you before, I'm lazy. On this tree it looks like the wire hasn't been overgrown that much, so I'm going to completely clip it off. Um, the best way to do this, you just clip at every wind, the wire and then you can just lift off the individual pieces. It does of course require the wire to not be embedded too deep, otherwise you damage the bark. So now for the next growing season there are some design choices to be made, like what is the future front of the tree. Originally I just wired it up, just for the fun of it, and now Let's say that we take a front where the trunk comes towards us, like this. Then we have a branch here that could go to the right. Then we have another branch here that could be the top. And we have a branch that goes here to the back. That would mean that I could leave, could get rid of this one. 
because here there's another side branch coming. So there's no objections, then I think I'm just going to do that. I'm going to remove this one here and say this is my next tree. Next step of course is to slap a little bit of wire on it. These branches are still quite young, very flexible, but still I'm going to use quite heavy wire. I'm using two millimeters of aluminium wire, which is too heavy for these branches, but I just don't want to bump it out of shape whenever I move in the garden. Uh. So now that the main choices have been made, it is important to put a little bit of wire on it so that for the rest of the season the branches can already set themselves in the direction that I want. Um, I have some one and a half millimeters of aluminium wire here, which I'm going to apply to these branches. So the top branch, then it goes around the trunk and the little stub that I've left and I'm going to wire it up over the lower branch and this one comes from the bottom and around and then just loop it around trying to not wire the needles too much Naturally I could just remove needles further up this branch, but I don't want to do that because Scots Pine predominantly backbuds along the needles. So by removing the needles I'm reducing the chances of getting new buds along the branch. However, some needles that are just in the way I will remove. And in fact this tree is in my garden. Nobody's going to look at it, except for, of course, everybody online now. And normally I wouldn't really worry about a few needles getting squished in. So I think there's the difference between wiring in practice and the official, this is how it should be. After all, this is a young tree. It will develop a lot over the next few years. And losing a few needles in this stage is really not a problem for the tree. Just doesn't look nice. But that's a different story. So let's give the top a little twist, first going back up around and to the front and we'll do the same here, down, up, forward, down, up. And this is the basic shape for our new tree. So looking at this little cascade, um, I don't think I'll do all that much to be honest. I don't see any reason for new wires, most of the branches are in place. Well, this is about the way that I would like to have it. So this can just grow for the season and I'll let the top branch go, fattening up the base. And then at the end of the season or in the middle of summer I'll reduce the candles, maybe wire out a little bit. That's it. So, two young bonsai for three euros or three dollars. Who said that bonsai had to be expensive? You can do it on a budget. You don't need all that much. Probably the biggest expense is going to be wire. Plants in itself can be free or for just a few bucks you can get one at a garden center that also trades in seedlings. So there's no reason not to start. Get started with bonsai. Get yourself a few young plants and start wiring them, shaping them, training them. Once you have that under control, you can slowly start thinking about more expensive materials. 